city of dreams, where every hotel club is writing a screenplay and where every ulcer has an agent attached. Yeah, the old place doesn't change much, does it? No, a bit like Paul's underpants. It seems like just yesterday that we left LA to find fame and fortune. That's because it was yesterday, Yehoof. We've only done, what, 30 miles? The car was working perfectly. Yeah, till it blew up. Wake Hammer? Are you insane? That's like asking me to stick my fingers in the grill of a van. That's like saying, John, go and dig the toast out of the toaster with a metal fork. It's dangerous, you idiot. Oh, for heaven's sake. What are you afraid of? So, she gets a bit grumpy when she wakes up. Big deal. What are you wear, Kenny? <laughs> are you insane? Go on, Joe, do the honours. Oh, oh. Don't bother, she's awake. What's wrong, Hans? Oh, you're not doing nothing. It's really good to see you all. You are so weird. Yeah, I just had this really weird dream. Oh, not the one where a meteor wipes out all forms of female life and the men of the Earth make you queen of the planet. No, this one was horrible. I dreamt that the band split up. What? We were all in LA, then one of us quit. I can't remember who or why, but one of us quit and then the band fell apart. And then we all got really old. Oh, like into our thirties. And then we never saw each other again. It just seemed so real. It was like a premonition. Thank God we're not in LA anymore, eh? Um, Han. Oh, no! So, what's wrong with it then? Well, to use a technical term, it's knackered. He said he can fix it, but it's going to take at least a week because he needs to order parts. So, basically, guys, we've got to try and find somewhere to live and $2,000. Club. I still don't get why the car blew up. We only the serviced. Actually, when have we ever had the car serviced? Look, it was nothing to do with being serviced. Somebody forgot to change the oil. Forgot to what? All right, all right, all right, okay. Uh, all right. Oh, goodbye, surprise. Bradley, you absolute donkey. I can't believe you. You cost us two grand. Can we all stick to the schedule, please? It is quite clear. Two pages, two a month, and all chores itemised and colour coordinated according to who should do them. <laughs> Bradley, you're green. Rachel's purple. Hannah's yellow. Tina's brown. And John is pink. <laughs> I don't want to be pink, it's a girly colour. Oh, I'll be pink. And stupid cool anyway. What? Well, it takes you ages to write it up, no one pays attention to it, and it don't work. I'm not taking that sort of criticism from a guy who blew our car up. Well, I said I'll fix it, didn't I? With what? Money? We don't have any. But that's because you spend it all on felt tip pens, bro. Right, that's it. You're pink. <laughs> Bradley's pink, everybody. <laughs> no, I'm not pink. <laughs> It's not part of your stupid schedule, all right? Oh, Bradley, where are you going? I'm going to get money to fix the car. While well, he fiddles with his felt tip pens or whatever. Anyway, I'm gone, yeah? Hannah, it was just a dream. So what colour am I now, then? Hi, Jamie. Hello. You're green. I would rather be blue. Hey, guys, it's Joni, and she's found us somewhere to live. No way. No way. Where can we go see it? Where can we go and see it? This place? Are you joking? No, nothing's too good for my friends. What was that? What? Uh, that yellow tape? Oh, nothing. It just said, uh, welcome, Mimeys. <laughs> Come on in, let's go. Mm. Wow, this is really nice. This is really, really nice. This is really, really, really nice. So, what's wrong with it? Wrong? Mm. Nothing. Nothing's wrong. Oh, Rachel, you want to step away from that glass? What the heck was that? Was it? Oh, you know, I have lived here for 
so long, I don't even notice. <laughs> All right, you guys. The house is very, though, slightly unstable. Unstable? Oh, there was just a little bit of damage to the structure during the last big earthquake. Oh, my God. 